Today I'm showing you two easy painting techniques to age your miniatures. Welcome everyone. I will be transforming this cheap piece of wood furniture into a priceless antique. And that starts with a base coat of half brown and half raw umber paint. All I want is a dark base coat. You can choose a different brown. You can choose black, gray. The base coat provides a dark contrast to the top coat. Step two consists of covering the entire base coat with a top coat. At this point, you can take a Q-tip and expose some of the undercoat while the paint is still wet. And if you don't like the way it looks, you can just paint right over it. Once the paint dried, I used a paper towel and a bit of rubbing alcohol to create a more weathered paint job. The rubbing alcohol wipes away some of the acrylic paint, revealing the brown color underneath. If I sanded the top coat, it's too aggressive and it goes all the way to the bare wood and doesn't create this level of contrast. If there are areas where too much top coat remains, you can continue rubbing away with the alcohol. You can also take a needle tool and scratch through the top coat to the base coat. The fourth and final step consists of adding chalk pastels. All you need to do is wear a mask because you're using a powder, dip your brush in and brush it over the surface. I'll teach you more about chalk pastels in a moment. Before I did this step, all of the top coat was the same tone and now there is a lot of age and dimension. Wasn't that easy? Now we're on to our next technique. This technique creates the look of faded paint over stained wood. I start by staining my wood with some watered down brown acrylic paint. You want to be able to see the wood grain through the paint, so wipe off any excess. Now that we have a base coat of stain, we need to learn how to dry brush. Dry brushing is a very simple technique that's worth learning. All you need to do is get some paint onto your brush and wipe most of it off onto a paper towel. Once most of your paint is off, you gently brush the bristles across the surface of the piece you're painting. The texture on this piece of wood runs up and down, so I'm hitting it with a dry brush coming from the sides to catch the high points. Dry brushing emphasizes surface texture and details. If you just can't seem to get it right, you're probably making one of these common mistakes. The most common mistake is not wiping off enough paint. Another mistake is brushing in the same direction as the texture you're trying to emphasize. Allow the bristles to graze across the surface. Don't scrub in a circular motion. Figure out what works best for you, but I tend to use smaller, flat, or chiseled brushes. Now that we learned how to dry brush, we're adding a light top color. This first coat is a good representation of what you should see when you dry brush a top coat, but I will actually be adding multiple layers because I want a more opaque look. You may need to do more or less coats of dry brushing depending on your technique. I ended up doing two coats. The look I'm going for is of old paint that's worn and I'm choosing to emphasize some areas with extra paint. This will provide a great backdrop for the chalk pastels. Chalk pastels add so much to miniature projects. They pour shading and add dimension. These are my chalk pastels. They were given to me years ago. Mine are made by Doro, but there are lots of brands you can use. This is my little container I keep my chalk pastels in. I use my X-Acto knife to scrape the powder and store it in here. I'll add more information to the description box below, but now we're moving on to step four of our paint process. This step is really straightforward. All I did was dip my brush into my powdered chalk pastels and now I'm rubbing the pastels into the surface. Then I use a different brush to brush away the excess. The next step is optional, but if you'd like a more subdued look, you finish with a coat of dry brushing. These techniques work best on wood that has some texture, so check out this next video if you'd like to see how I weathered my popsicle stick drawers and created this apothecary cabinet from a Dollar Tree dresser. Thank you for watching.